Today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 of my favorite Instant Pot accessories. These accessories are going to help take your Instant Pot cooking to the next level. Hi, I'm Karen Peterson. I own the blog 365 days of crockpot.com. I love posting Instant Pot recipes and slow cooker recipes. I help you get dinner on the table for your family. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the things that I have in my kitchen to help me cook better in the Instant Pot. I love posting these videos every single Tuesday. Please subscribe to my channel to make sure that you are getting these videos in your feed. I'd love it if you join my Facebook group, 365 Days of Instant Pot Recipes. We have a great community there that loves to share Instant Pot recipes, tips and tricks and ideas. So join us over there on Facebook. Now I'm going to show you those favorite Instant Pot accessories that I have that will help take your cooking to the next level. The first thing that I suggest getting is a couple of extra ceiling rings. Now these rings I just ordered on Amazon and I'm going to put all the links to all the products I talk about today in the description below. If you're on a mobile device, you can just click on the title of this video and it will open all of my notes that um, I will discuss with you today. So basically, I love having these extra ceiling rings. When you get your Instant Pot lid, it's gonna have this lit, this ceiling ring in it that you can just pull out. And sometimes I like to throw these in the top rack of my dishwasher um, and just get them a little bit cleaner than they normally would get. And if that's the case, then I'll just use one of these extra ones that I ordered and just stick it in there like that. The reason that I like to have the color-coded ones is because I use them for different things. So whenever I make yogurt, I always use the green one. Whenever I do like a sweet, um, I don't know, like a cake or something, I use the black one. And then whenever I do my savory dishes, I use this clearish one that came with it. The second must-have Instant Pot accessory is this steamer basket. I love it. It is used for, I use it for so many things. One of the main things I use it for is hard boiled eggs. So all I do is pile the eggs into it, lower it into the pot, make sure there's a cup of water in there, and then go ahead and cook the eggs. The other thing that I like to use this for is broccoli. Broccoli is cool because it has like a zero pressure minute cook time on it. And you just stick it in there, push zero minutes for the pressure cook time, and it will ha you'll have perfectly steamed broccoli. Um, I also use this just for carrots, like baby carrots. You can throw the baby carrots in there and lots of other vegetables work with it as well. So the steamer basket is definitely a must have for your Instant Pot. The third thing that I wanna share with you today is these Fat Daddy-O's cake pans. So you can see that they fit perfectly inside the six quart. I like to use these for pot and pot cooking. What you do is you put a cup of liquid in the bottom of your Instant Pot put a trivet in the bottom and then put this on top of the trivet, put this on top of the trivet. The water heats up and builds the pressure in the pot and then whatever's cooking in the pan can cook. Um, that way things won't burn to the bottom. For example, lasagna is a great one to make in these. Um, I also have a meatloaf that you could make in there. There's lots and lots of ways you can use these pans. Going along with those pans um, are these things that I actually already had in my kitchen. I didn't even have to order, but this is a Pyrex and it is oven safe. And so it is instant pot safe. And then this one's a Corningware and it's the same thing. They fit very nicely right inside my pot. And I use them for the same thing. Like I made lasagna in this. I made peach cobbler in this. There's just lots of ways you can use this. You can use this one for pot and pot rice, um, lots of things. So I suggest at least getting one of these kind of things, whether that's a corningware or one of the Fat Daddy-O's pans um, or a Pyrex, but just getting something that you can do the pot and pot cooking method is gonna really help you as you try to do different kinds of recipes in the Instant Pot. All right, I already mentioned this, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it again, this trivet. This actually came with my Instant Pot. I've read online that they haven't been coming with the new Instant Pot, so you might have to order one online if you didn't get one. Just fits nicely in the bottom of your pot, and you can, and you can use it for lots of things, getting something off the bottom. For example, if you're making baked potatoes, 
um, or if you want the meat to get off the bottom, you don't want it to boil in the liquid, you want it to more steam, then you would put this, the meat on top of the trivet. But definitely, a trivet is definitely necessary. Next thing that I just recently got was this half size bunt cake pan. This isn't a necessity, but it is really fun. I made a pumpkin chocolate chip bunt cake in here the other day, and it was basically steamed by the moist environment, and it just became really moist, and it was almost like bread pudding-like. It was just delicious. So it's a half size bunt cake pan that you're gonna want. This is, this is one of those silicone baking mats and I just cut it into thirds. And the reason that I did that is I like to use it as a sling to get things out of the Instant Pot. The next thing that I wanna share with you is this barkeeper's friend and a little scrubby. You'll notice a lot of times when you're trying to scrub the bottom of your pot, it can get a little sketchy. So this is when that comes in handy. Um, as far as this barkeeper's friend, I'm gonna show you how to take it from kind of dull looking on the bottom to really shiny. All you have to do is pour this in and scrub with this little scrubber and it comes out just as clean as the day that you got the pot. And it's just super cheap. You can buy this like at any store, Walmart. It's in the cleaning supplies. Next thing that I use a lot is this thermometer for meats. When I'm making um, salmon, I made like a teriyaki salmon. I just want to know that it's cooked through. You can't really tell sometimes with the Instant Pot. So this is just cool because you just push on, it turns on, you stick this into the meat and it will tell you what temperature the meat is at and then you won't have to worry if your chicken is cooked all the way through or not. I use this all the time and I really recommend it. Another thing that I have for the Instant Pot is this stackable pans and it comes with this um, sort of like handle, I guess you could say, that you put it in the pot and then you can lift it out of the pot. This is really good for warming up leftovers. For example, if you had some sort of meat in the bottom that you needed to warm up and then the rice or the, the carbohydrate in the top and you would just put it on like 10 minutes and, and put some water in the bottom of the pot and then turn it on and it would warm it up really nicely. You can also cook food inside of these. I actually use um, one at a time a lot. For example, I have a Instant Pot Garlic Parmesan Chicken. That's one of my most popular recipes. And you cook the chicken in the bottom of the pot and then you put the pasta and water in here and then you put the lid on and you use one of those slings I was telling you about and you lower it on top of the chicken. And then the pasta will cook at the same rate as the, what the chicken is cooking and it just turns out really nicely. So I like these pots for the warming up of leftovers or you can use them as a pot and pot cooking method as well. The last thing that I use a lot is these flour sack towels that I just actually bought at the dollar store. But what I use them for is when I strain my yogurt so whenever I make yogurt in the Instant Pot, you, I like to make Greek yogurt to make it thicker. And so I strain the yogurt. So I just put the yogurt, I put this, this uh, towel right here inside my colander. I put the yogurt inside the colander in, on top of the towel. And then the towel just um, allows the whey to strain through. That's just something that's super cheap, but I can wash these towels over and over and reuse them and um, strain my yogurt. I pretty much make it weekly, so it comes in handy. I hope today's video helped you get lots of ideas on how to use your Instant Pot in more broad ways. Join us every Tuesday for a new YouTube video about Instant Pot cooking. Thanks, and we'll see you then. Don't forget to join our 365 Days of Instant Pot Recipes Facebook group. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Every Tuesday I post a new Instant Pot video. Subscribe now!